Stuart Perry, here we are in the kingdom of Tonga, the yeah, true yeah. South Pacific. Don't you love that? Yeah. I love the word, the kingdom of Tonga. And there's a king still? Yes, there is a king. You know? And in fact, uh, quite a big royal family as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's not a democracy? No, well, it has got d democracy. Yeah. The, they've got their first uh, government, which, which was elected uh, three and a half years ago. Yeah. But, the, of course, um, with a kingdom, yeah. uh, the king still holds sway. And, He's got uh, some power, hasn't uh, he? Yeah. Indeed, as do the princes and the the princesses, the queen, of course. And, and there's nobility and as well, isn't there? Yeah, and they have a lovely, lovely nature. The whole, the whole structure of uh, Tonga is so different to so many of the other nations because it is still the only remaining kingdom yeah. uh, and and I think that that makes it really unique What's and it's the only remaining kingdom what, in the world no only remaining okay. kingdom in the South Pacific South Pacific yeah, yeah. okay I was going to say yeah, uh, but still yeah yeah and their and their history goes back 3000 years wow they've never been colonized unlike you know American yeah. Samoa French Polynesia yeah. New Zealand with a British colonial so, yeah. so it's never been colonized mm -hmm. and it creates this unique culture and unique history makes them a very proud people makes them very proud of their yeah. their unique place in the yeah. South Pacific but also makes them an incredibly friendly and wonderful people and great people to visit and uh, and uh, um, great people to work with and great rugby players indeed look Jonah Lomu <laughs> and uh, I mean uh, it was a Tongan who really won the New Zealand World Cup that's right yeah. <laughs> well let's get to the tourism side of it the true South Pacific so what makes Tonga in your opinion the true South Pacific what would I expect to see if I visited Tonga because it's not a major tourism destination no. currently so tell me a bit about it from a tourism perspective. I, I guess one of the unique aspects of it is that, that it is such a large uh, archipelago 176 yeah. islands wow. from top to bottom yeah. it's a so it's a it's a it's a large uh, area in the South Pacific yeah. but in actual fact when you look at it on a global scale just a tiny tiny, yeah. tiny tiny spot on the on the globe yeah. it, it's unique in, 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 in that it has uh, the, it's where the whales come yeah. uh, to breed. They carve, sorry, to carve, and yeah. and, and uh, being able to go into the water with the whales and have the whales come up to you and in, in their inquisitive way, in their own safe environment, yeah. and interact with people in, yeah. in in their own way. The, the whales will will actually come and look at the tourists. It's funny because uh, it? uh, they've never seen you before. That, exactly, yeah. exactly. So it, it, it has unique aspects yeah. like that. It has some amazing tropical paradise. Yeah. locations, places, you know, like, you know, and th that's a good example of, of what we have. It and you can find places like that th throughout the uh, Tongan archipelago that's not photoshopped. No, that's and, it. And so, so no, no major hotel groups? Uh, the, the, the scenic hotel is there. That's yeah, a, okay. A, that's it's a New Zealand group. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. And it's the only of the, uh, only uh, major hotel group okay. that's there. But there are a lot of other boutique hotels, yeah. uh, a lot of other accommodation operators, and, and some amazing resorts all along uh, the archipelago. And, uh, the cater for every, everything. For the, you see all age groups there, family groups having yeah. wonderful time in the safe waters around yeah. inside the coral reef so that you've yeah. got the beautiful water, wonderful fish, the, the scuba diving, the, the, the snorkeling. People want to go out fishing. They yeah. can go out and, and do deep sea fishing or inshore fishing. Yeah. Um, if you just want to lean back on a tropical paradise, on a sun lounger, um, the coconut up palm above you, the yeah. bure fale uh, on the beach. <laughs> Yeah, well, you can right now. Well, you've only been there a few months, so, uh, just about exactly. four months, so you must but, be living the dream. But I have, a, I have, I have been living the dream. But I didn't finish the story. Leaning back on yeah. that sun lounger with a pina colada in your hand yeah. and someone waiting on your hand and foot, I, I think it's the ideal um, location. Um, you're right. I've only been there a short time, and I'm, I guess I'm lucky that I'm seeing it through the eyes yeah. of a visitor, um, yes. and and that actually helps me with my um, approach to marketing yeah. uh, the the kingdom because Absolutely. you know you're seeing it as a visitor would see it yeah. and I'm able to tap into the um, the love and passion that the Tongan mm. nationals have for their uh, yeah. for their kingdom um, but uh, apply um, I guess the Kiwi Aussie yeah. marketing approach so that I can get out there and sell this nation and, and, and tell Australasia and the rest of the world what a wonderful wonderful yeah. location it is to holiday in. Mm. Now tell me so um, only one large hotel lots of small boutique hotels 
hotel, so you really get under the skin of the country, meet the real people. That's right. Big distances, so you know you go by ferry to uh, yeah. Niafu, is it, yeah. and Pangai, yeah, and yeah, so that's right. Yeah. So the Vavau group is a 45-minute flight from uh, from Tongatapu all the way up to uh, um, the Vavau group. It's only a 45-minute flight, yeah. um, or an 18-hour cruise on a on a ferry if you so want who to take it. That route? Uh, a real Tonga, the domestic airline yeah. flies. Um, it, it, it covers all of the uh, kingdom. Yeah. Uh, they fly services from Nukualofa um, to the Hapai Group and up to Vavau, down to the shortest um, uh, commercial uh, flight in the world is a seven minute flight between Tongatapu and Awa. Oh, fantastic. Uh, um, so you're up in the air and back and down. Straight down again. Yeah. Um, but it's also got that contrast. It's those beautiful flat tropical islands. But if you go to a place like Awa, it's quite, yeah. quite rugged and mountainous okay. and, uh, and heavy bush and, and parrots in the bush. Or go to a place like the Harpies where, yeah. um, where they've got active volcanoes. And yeah. so you've got the vol volcanic it's region. Contrast, yeah. it, amazing contrast. And an amazing contrast of attractions, as I said yeah. before, family stuff and resorts yeah. all the way to adventure tourism. Some of the best surfing yeah. in the Pacific is there in Tonga no. and deep sea fishing. You name it, yeah, it's there, it. you know. Now yeah. tell me, I'm a guy for food, okay? So what sort of food would I expect to eat in Tonga? I mean, I imagine a lot of fish, uh, but how's it influenced? Do you uh, know what I mean? Is it Tonga cooking or is it influenced from somewhere else? Look, I, I think because of the, the, the fact that the Tongans have retained their own culture, yeah. that what you taste in Tonga is exactly the way Tongans have always yeah. Uh, prepared their foods. You, you can go and have the food from the Uma and have the, the natural Tongan foods. Yeah. I mean, you can get the exotic uh, cooking and 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 westernised yeah. cooking in the resorts and in the hotels if you wish. You can get a very nice burger, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, the fact of the matter is if you want to taste real Tongan food, go to a, one of the culture yeah. shows um, on the mainland. They have five major culture groups yeah. um, doing culture performances with the dancers and the, and the feasts that go with it. So, so tell me, how, how many sort of how many visitors would Tonga get in a year? Visitors? Yes. Well, the, they have about seventy thousand people fly in okay. each year, and about and about twenty to thirty thousand people come in on cruise ships. Um, a lot of those people who are coming in, who are flying in, are VFR market people who are coming in uh, to to return to their family um, yeah. in the islands. Yeah. Um, but we have a lot of people who come there, and it's their holiday. Okay. Let's just put the mic back. There. Yeah, I, I, rather yeah. Than, um, rather the other thing I was going to ask you about, okay, so um, a lot of VFR, how would I fly there if I was going from Australia, New Zealand, US, wherever? We have um, six flights from New Zealand a week with okay. Air New Zealand yeah. and two from uh, in a week from New Zealand on Virgin Australia. There are two flights a week from, from uh, Sydney with Virgin Australia mm -hmm. and two flights a week from uh, Fiji on uh, Fiji Air. I oh, see so you're very uh, well served. Oh yeah. yes, and, and during the peak season, yeah. Fiji increase their um, flights to four flights a week so you're getting good we, we've got good contacts and good links yeah. of course all of those airlines through Australia and New Zealand are linked with international flights yeah. from around the world so uh, yeah it's easy to get to it's uh, but and, and yet still very much yeah. an undiscovered destination that mustn't be spoiled too but if you had to say what sort of people visited Tonga currently what would you say Oh, look, it's probably uh, our, our main demographic is between uh, 35 and 65. Yeah. Um, but we do get we get we do get a lot of families, and we do get a lot of um, older people who find it a safe destination yeah. where they can um, enjoy the Pacific without um, having to uh, travel too far. I mean, it is only two hours 45 from Auckland, okay. uh, by, so it's a close destination in terms of flying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so it's a, it, a a lot of older people find it a comfortable distance to travel and and uh, enjoy. But the main market, our, our primary target, would be 45. 65. Yeah, and more sort of better healed people looking for experiential travel, um, things they haven't done before, and just amazing destinations. That's right, and they do, and they do get a chance to experience yeah. it firsthand. You know, some amazing yeah. um, uh, opportunities to travel, particularly around places yeah. like Hapai, which yes. is so close uh, to the mainland, yeah. um, where 
you can be there in um, five hours by boat or you know 30 minutes yeah. by plane. Well look, where can people find out more information about Tonga? Yeah, the, look the best way to get that information is obviously off the internet. You can go to your uh, to all the major travel agents who, who do have um, comprehensive information yeah. but uh, uh, the best place right now would be to go to tongaholidays.com Tonga yeah. Holiday yeah. Uh, that's Tonga Holiday singular okay, yeah. uh, dot com. Tongaholiday.com yeah. yep. and uh, go onto that website it's got a full range of information about how to get there, what's there, what's to see, what's to do and what's to eat Really. Well Stuart thank you for your time today I've really enjoyed our discussion and I look forward to visiting Tonga and maybe having an on location program uh, from Tonga and that would be awesome. Let's but, do well, it soon, let's do it well, soon. Thank you for your time. Good, thank you.